Uh, sir, you did say this was a special, right? What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special unboxing. So this package you see here comes from my good friend, Tom Marshall. And for those who don't know, Tom has recently been making some amazing rolling stock for double O scale. So when he offered to send me a pack of rolling stock for a video, I was, well, as you can see, all for it. Since I'm not gonna lie, your railway is probably lacking unless it has some of these on it. So with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a hell of a review going on. Let's see. Let's get... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here we have this amazing little pin that says Next Train's Gone and has, I believe, a Terrier locomotive on it, as well as this pencil that says the same thing. So, if I ever write you a letter... It's being written with this, and the next time you see me, I'll probably be wearing this. No way. These are... Tom, I cannot thank you enough. This is so cool. But those aside, we also have, I believe, one of the vans in this one. Uh, one of the troublesome trucks here. Or not trucks, just the uh, seven plank trucks. And another one in here. Okay, so we're going to have a total of three trucks to take a look at. But also, oh my gosh. What on earth? This is the coolest. This may be the best package I've ever gotten. No way. Oh my gosh. Two train boy with thanks and best wishes, Tom Marsh. Oh, Tom, I love you, dude. So first we have this postcard with amazing railway series illustrations and I believe stamps on it. And here we have a picture of Audrey himself with some of the original gauge one props. And it's been signed by Tom. This is, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, there's even more. There is, oh, this is the engine from the pin. This is Gladstone. That's what the engine, it's Gladstone, not a Terrier. I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh, this is, this is so cool. Oh, no, no way. It's freaking Gladstone in the Railway Series. This is, this is amazing. This looks exactly like a Railway Series illustration. No way, this is. Gladstone Visits Sodor by Jamil Makat. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. So here we have an illustration of Gladstone Visiting Sodor. We have a Gladstone pen and pencil. A sketch of Gladstone to go with that. A behind the scenes picture of Reverend W. Audrey with four of the different props. This insane railway series postcard and three different trucks that we haven't even talked about yet. Wow, I told you guys this was going to be a hell of an unboxing. And for those who are curious, inside of the envelope is this, which gives the uh, issue date and a little bit more information on what it is exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's been the non-train stuff. So, let's go ahead and jump into these vans, shall we? Well, one van and two trucks. You know what I mean. Let's start with this one here. So the first one we have to look at is this Buggle Skelly one, which is absolutely just adorable. This is amazing. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, our first truck. Let's go ahead and jump into this second one. Hey, get back here, dude. Oh boy, here we go. Here's our second truck, the Weathered NW Van, which I'm not going to lie. This one may be my favorite. This thing looks so cool. And now let's jump into number three. Let's... Oh, no way. And here is the third truck. Just like the van, a weathered version of the NW plank wagons. What did I say like that? Wagons. Alrighty, and now that we have our three trucks unboxed, I think it's time we take a bit of a closer look at them. So, 
Alrighty, now let's take a closer look at these three. So, as I'm sure you noticed by the box these three came in, the wagons themselves are Depol branded. And while personally I'm not a huge fan of Depol steam engines, when it comes to their rolling stock and diesel locomotives, the quality control is definitely a bit more there. And this is certainly reflected in the wagons Thomas sent me. Before we talk about my favorite part, which is the aesthetics, I'd be remiss to not mention some details the wagons themselves have. For example, each one has quite a bit of weight to it, and as such, all three roll very well. The build quality is definitely there. There's also some pretty high-grade couplers, with each one being installed with NIM couplings or NEM couplings, that not only couple up very securely, but also have quite a bit of movement to them as well. So they should perform- Wait, what? So even on compact layouts with smaller radiuses, these should perform just fine. Now let's talk about the wagons themselves. Each one of these has details that have been beautifully printed on, and when it comes to legibility, that's not an issue either. You can read every word on the side of these trucks, and that's something I really appreciate. One of the seven planks and the van both say NW, standing for Northwestern. And not only are both of these weathered, which saves us modelers some time, my favorite part has to be the print that says Return to Barrow in Furness, located right above the load 12 tons decal. It's a very small detail, but one I can't help but love. This is also present on the NW van, and each one has their tonnage, and several other small details for us to appreciate. The other 7 plank isn't weathered, however everything else I've said also carries on to it. The legibility on it is amazing, the build quality is definitely there, and I have to say I love all the information it has printed on it. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels very railway series to me, and it matches the other two perfectly. The only critique I have, and it's not really much of a critique, just more something you can change, are the coal loads that are featured in the 7 planks. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing that these are here, and the fact they are is definitely a plus in my books. However, I think they would benefit by perhaps a real coal load, or something that looks a bit more realistic. However, this isn't essential and is just something I might do. That very small nitpick aside, these are perfect, and I think would be an amazing addition to anyone's 00 scale railway. Not only are they aesthetically just amazing, but also truthfully high quality pieces of rolling stock. So even if you're not a Thomas fan, these are still something you can use. I promise you, it's not something you'll regret. And on the chance you'd like to pick any of these up yourself, I'll have Tom's website linked in the description. During your checkout, if you use the code TRAINBOY20, you'll also get an extra 20% off your final total. So on the chance any of these raised your interest, be sure to do that. And with that out of the way, let's get into some running footage. Roger. We're all ready to go, sir. Captain Avatar's battleship will be on the Mars orbit in... If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more trained content. And once again, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Tom Marshall. These wagons have to be some of my favorite now, and expect to see them a lot whenever my Tubbalo engines are around. If any of you guys would like any of the wagons seen, I'll have his website in the description. And with all of that being said, huge shout out to my patrons, and of course, thank you guys again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.
road, sir. Don't tell Tom I did that. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.